all this ball is absolutely imperative. Just um, a little bit more space around. So just start off by just passing the ball from side to side and see, making sure that you can try and control. So the bigger you have your hands spread out, the more that you're likely to control that ball. So if a ball's coming towards you, that your hand is what's going to initially control that ball. So if you can, start moving it a bit further apart. Do different weights of throws and maybe do a little so watch that ball come down into your hands. Back to the short one. If you're ever waiting to get play and you've got a ball, it would be really good for you to get yourself a ball because every time you're stood around talking to your friends, if you can be doing things like this, it all builds up your strength in your hands and your handling skills. So if you can do it around your body, Okay, other way. So what we're really looking for, and if you do get yourself a ball and you practice this, what you're actually looking for is not to use your body to stop it, but to actually be doing it with your hands. And you can almost cup the ball sometimes in your hands if you haven't got massive big hands like me. So this is something that if you did have your own ball, you could do a lot of. So we let, let's do a figure of eight round our legs, and let's just see if we can do a little bit more. <laughs> can you can you cut? Just drop a sec. Can you actually? Sorry. <laughs> 